Okay, so one of the easiest methods to start making some R&B chords for your beats is just one simple trick, and we're gonna go over what that trick is in this video today. Two of the easiest chords that will never fail if you're ever feeling unmotivated, these two chords are always gonna be able to help you out, or you can just go ahead and mess with these chords, and hopefully, you know, you can make something and be creative with them. And these are all the white keys here that you see. And check out these chords right here in the key of F major, right here. It sounds basic right now, but bear with me. And then you just transition to an E. These two chords can be very powerful if played correctly. And again, F and E. Sounds basic right now, boring. But the trick to this is if you add a pinky right here, it becomes a seventh, like this. Way better. Now check out the E minor seven, how it's gonna sound. Oof, hear that? F major seven, and then E minor seven. And this is how it sounded before. Sounds like a Travis Scott beat or something about to pop up, but, but, but if you wanted to make it into a nice R&B chord progression, you just add that seven. And you could just play these two chords. Hit them in any tempo you want. And also you can make some arpeggiated notes like this. Now you can easily say, I can easily draw these and not a problem. And that is true. You could just go ahead and draw the chords in, but to be completely honest in this channel, we go over how to play chords because honestly, there's not a lot of channels explaining chord progressions and a little bit of music theory. So I think it's a little bit refreshing. So give this video a thumbs up already if you agree with me on that. But anyways, I do have the piano pulled up here, but I'm not going to stay with this sound. I might record it right now, but we're going to go ahead and find some other sound to start making this beat. Let's record. Maybe I'd BPM of that's a little bit too not working for me. I want to do kind of something like mm -hmm. I am going to add like a little bit of chords here and there, but you don't have to do that. That's just like something to add on top. Any white keys that you play with those chord progressions will work. And you know, just keep, to give you guys a little pointer, some tips there. Let's do it at 95 BPM. So let's go and record this piano in. Like I said, I'm not going to stay with this sound. This is just to just get started already. So let's go ahead and do this. And I do kind of want to do that little. So let's just do that over. I'm gonna try to use the pedal here. Ooh, it sounded so much better with the pedal. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Ooh, it sounds way better. Let's just leave that there like that. Bring these up to the grid and let's start off strong. That bass note was not hitting, so let's raise up this velocity right here. Do we need to raise up the velocity on some of these? There we go. And I don't want to quantize it because I'm going to lose the feeling of these little grace notes that I have in between. I like the way they're sounding right now, so I don't want to mess that up. Something's off here a little bit, so let's try to fix that. I think it could be just that these are coming in a little bit too late in the end. A little bit more on tempo. Maybe this one needs to be quantized a little bit better. What if I quantize it? What would happen? I mean, it sounds cleaner, obviously, but it still sounds so robotic now. Let's see if we could just smooth this little note here. That's better. It sounds a little bit more robotic, but we still get a good feel for it. So let's try to find a new sound though. I went ahead and changed the sound from the piano sound in Keyscape that I kind of just didn't want that piano sound. And I went into Notonic 2 and I promise these companies are not sponsoring me. I'm just finding all these plugins and VSTs and I'm, you know, I love new sounds. So Notonic 2 has this cool pad sound. It's called Epitone. I think as you said, it's not Epitone, right? Maybe it's called Epitone. It sounds beautiful. Check this out.
it just has a nice like vibe to it and then i'm gonna go ahead and just eq it a little bit here just take a little bit of that low end off in that midsection. Other than that, it sounds super good already. I'm going to keep staying on Nodernik 2 for now. And I found this other cool sound in the key section. It's called Blue. And it sounds like this. And I could use it as a keys um, just to play like the chords again or something like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and use it as a lead sound kind of. Play like a nice little melody, counter melody to this pad sound. It's already playing in the beginning. So let's try to make something up. And for this, what you want to do is just play anything in the white keys and be creative. Whatever sounds good to you might sound good to somebody else. So let's get it. Honestly, I just play with it for like a couple minutes just to see if I could find a nice melody. As you can see, I'm just playing around with the keyboard. Believe it or not, one little significant change in any key can make a huge difference in how the melody is going to play out. So I want to try a different variety. I kind of like that little da -da. just because it's very simple and I don't want to overcomplicate things because I know I'm going to add some more stuff after. So let's just record that in just two notes. It's literally C and G like that so simple I'm definitely going to EQ the crap out of this just want it very like muffled up I do quite, probably want like a no here maybe just Da -da -da, something like that. Okay, let's see if we could put that here. This is like elongate these notes so they don't stay like stuck. They kind of just blend in. Or even this, put another note here like this, and then make these long. Yeah. There's a little too much going on right there. Let's just leave it how it was. Jeez. Let's just leave that. The EQ is like probably the only thing I'm going to add. This is the only thing I'm, I need, I think. Nodernik does have some presets already here, so we could just mix the reverb in. And maybe let's make it more wide and just store it a little bit. I like that. It's just like very subtle so far. Okay, so the third instrument that I'm going to use is also from Nodernik, and you guys know well, the ones that watch my videos. I kind of like to tend to stick to one BST the whole time I'm creating. I don't like to bounce around looking for different plugins. You know, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I like to use every single plugin to its full potential and find every single sound that I can really use. That's the whole point why you, we purchase these, right? Anyways, I found this cool sound in Nodernik. Also, it's called Waves in the Keen section. Check it out. Very, very nice. That could play isolated by itself. So let's go ahead and record this in. Almost similar chords of what I was playing in the beginning, just slight tad bit different. So let's get it. A little bit different, like I said, and I don't think I'm going to quantize this at all, but I'm going to fix some notes here and there. And the reason I don't want to fix some of these is because the grace notes are hitting very, very nice. Those little flickers uh, makes it more natural, humanized. Let's do the EQ. Sounding really nice. And I'm not adding nothing too crazy, but for the sake of this video, I will still add a vocal chop because it's just not finished beat until a vocal chop is in there. Yeah. And you don't need to add a vocal chop. Just saying. Okay. So the fourth thing I'm going to add to this beat is some nice vocal chops. Honestly, I found this vocal chop right here. Don't let go. Just hold on. Super nice vocal chop. And it goes perfectly with this melody. I'm going to go ahead and use Antares Auto-Tune. Now this Auto-Tune is honestly one of the best Auto-Tunes I've used used even if it doesn't need that much auto-tune it still makes a difference within the track itself for instance the vocal chop sounds like this right now Don't let go, just hold on. 
<laughs> and it sounds good, but there's still a couple parts in there that could be fixed a little bit. And the auto tune is definitely going to put every key where it needs to be. So let's go ahead and turn this on and let's hear it now. Don't let go, just hold on. I think I could be a one. I think I could be you. And now we could really hear the auto tune, right? But sometimes I'm like, eh, I kind of don't want to hear the auto tune so much. Then we can go ahead and humanize it as well. So we can put humanize max and retune speed up to medium. And now it's going to sound a lot better, more natural. Don't let go, just hold on. I think there I could goes. be you. I think I could be you. And then just with the melody, everything playing. Don't let go, just hold on. I think I could be your one. I think I could be your one. And now let's just add all the other effects. So we could just add a, like a compressor here, reduce some of the ratio and makeup, and then just go ahead and add like a Bahala vintage verb. And then it's just going to sound super good. Let's record this in. Don't let go, just hold on. I think I could be your one. I think I could be your one. super fire and now every single note is in key so just gotta love some auto tune sometimes on taurus auto tune especially all right so let's just go ahead and just keep adding this sounds really beautiful with the melody and i'm gonna go ahead and manipulate this a little bit here and just i don't want this vocal chop to be popping up so much and i'm gonna add more reverb here super super nice just blend this in a little bit this reduce some of the mid frequencies beautiful and then we could just use that for an intro or something like that all right i think it's time to add some drums i'm gonna mute the vocals just for now just because i don't want them to interfere with the drums but let's just go ahead and see what we can find here i think a clap will be good I like this clap. Should we play everything on the keyboard? I don't know. Maybe I should just faster. Hey, I'll probably add like a little bit of reverb to these claps. Not too much, like maybe like less than 2%, maybe 1.3. Just so they won't be so dry. And I'm going to go ahead and use a rim shot here just to make a difference on the second time. Maybe that's a little too much, right? Like maybe that doesn't work. Mm. Let's just keep that open. Just I could always go ahead and add the second clap later, like in every second count, whatever, because there's only one every one bar right now. But I don't I don't think I need a clap every single like two. Let's hear how it sounds. Though. Maybe it does sound good. I think it's, I don't know. It just gives the beep room to breathe. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Let's use this beautiful kick here. Let's go ahead and use a step sequencer for this. Let's go. I still want it to be like a fast paced type of. Uh, hey, there it goes. I feel like a clap should have gone there maybe. Hey, mm. but maybe not. Again, just do it again. Uh, let's just do something different here, like that, that, that. Hey, Ooh. okay, maybe we should add a clap. Let's just add that clap. All right, whatever. Maybe you guys are right. Nice, man. Except this kicks just not. I'm not feeling it, bro. Maybe I should just increase the volume here and then raise up this. Yeah. It's just it's still not feeling it. Let's just add a different kick. That Detroit kick sounds crazy. Uh, uh, uh. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go to a different drum kit now. This is crazy. Nothing's hitting the way it's, it should. Way better. I feel like I'm gonna add like something right here, like a little clap right here, and then just change the velocity. How does that, how would I do this before? I used to do this. That was really low. We're gonna leave it like that. Let's go ahead and go get the hi hats. I like these delays. I'm using the different drum kit today. Let's see. I'll still do a 64. Maybe it'll be a more basic. I don't know. I should just play it through the whole way. Just basic hi hats, basic pattern. I don't know. And then just change the velocity on some of these. Every other. This doesn't sound too bad, to be honest. But I don't know if it's the right hi hats. Let's try these right here. How about we do the same thing here, duplicate this, but then right here we just do something different to see. Maybe we just do some rolls or something here, like note repeat, maybe just on one. Just two. What a vibe, bro. That's a vibe. Got a little too excited there. Nothing wrong with that. That means the beat is working. That means the beat is working. I'm going to leave the hi-hats like that. I don't think I should do anything else to them, honestly. Maybe just like I said, like a no repeat here and there. Hey. That no repeat on the second one just doesn't work there for some reason. Just do it right here. We'll just leave it there. One no repeat can make a huge difference to a track. It's crazy. Just one little roll. It's crazy. Production is just crazy, man. Right, let's go with the open hats. Ooh, let's go with this one. I'm kind of digging this other drum kit I just I haven't used in a while, so let's just record this in. Obviously, the beat is like a little too busy right now. I'm not going to lie, but we don't leave. If you guys seen the videos, we don't leave everything at all times. We rearrange this a lot of times, actually. I like this hi-hat, but now we got to go bring a different hi-hat. I love the bell hi-hat. You guys know which one I'm talking about, right? Don't they go sting? But at the same time, it kind of just does like that. You know, you guys know what I'm saying, right? There it is. Ding. Here we go. There it goes. It's just a vibe, bro. I'm just vibing out right now. Let's go with this kit right here. Let's see what well, we got. Perkies. This one, maybe. Just get creative. Am I overdoing it right now? I really need to put all my drum kits in one big kit. I have them spread out everywhere. What about this? Or let's record this in. Mm. Oh, that was too perfect, bro. Just pan this to the right a little bit. This one to the left, and this one to the right, and then. And I'm gonna just end it with the zap perk because that's just like my signature perk. At this point, I just put it on every beat, and then it's complete. There it is. There it is. Here we go. Bro, this is the perks are going crazy on this one, bro. It's just letting you it's just saying. I know we gotta add a crazy 808. Let's just look for one. Kinda like this one. I already forgot what chords I was playing. This is the only way we can find out later is by just going here. F E and then we got B A G. I knew that. Let's record it. Bass is hitting, bro. It's like hitting like the way r and is supposed to hit. Kind of want to add like a, another bass hit right here. Just boom. And right before this one too, maybe just right there. Make it like. Ooh, bro, you didn't see that come. Kind of want to make it a little bit. Hold on. You got to go right here. Just add a third one. I'm going to go pop, pop, pop. What if we do this? I don't know. I'm not really feeling it, bro. I'm really having fun with the bass on this one, man. Sometimes you just gotta experiment.
All right, let's rearrange this beat and let's hear the final result in three, two, one, let's go. All right, and if you're at the deep end of this video, you already know what to do. Comment down below, deep end. Also, I'm working to put together a R&B drum kit. Um, I'm working pretty hard to put this thing together, so it's taking a while because I want it to be perfect and I want it EQ'd already the way I like things to be EQ'd and certain frequencies to be the way like I prefer them to be. So that's why it's taking a little bit of time, but you know what, it's okay. Like, No need to rush right there. You're eventually gonna get it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the ones that are keep watching, keep commenting and liking the video so it's been awesome it's been great so thank you for this channel for growing the channel so till next time guys god bless stay blessed and stay positive peace